guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is a little bit different it's not really something i would do but i have been thinking about it just because i used to watch these types of videos growing up all the freaking time i would always watch what's in my purse what's in my backpack what's on my iphone like stuff like that it was really the era of just binge watching all those types of videos. I had previously filmed this video outside at night thinking it was a good idea and it really wasn't just because you could really just hear all of the background bugs. I was like, you know what? And let me just refilm it. Daytime in my room, quietness. So that is what we're here doing today. We have Lily here with me right now. She is just... I have like this cute sweater on her because I think she's cold so I just wanted to warm her up a bit. But anyways, that's besides the point. Today's video is going to be a what's in my purse. I would kind of say fall slash winter edition. I really wanted to call it that just because I have been bringing out this purse a lot lately. I'm pretty sure I'm going to consider this as like my everyday bag. I'm pretty sure I showed it to y'all as well. But anyways, this is my everyday bag bag that I have been using since I have gotten it. I don't know the name of this bag at all. I just found it at a Bell's outlet. If I can find it, I will leave it linked down in the description box. But basically, this is the bag. It is just a black leather with like these nice indented like lines like going up and down and then diagonal. So it is like that on both sides. And then on the front, you can see it has the logo right there, which is really nice and sleek that I love. Um, the strap of it, it's double-sided. The strap, one side is like the background main color is black. And on the other side, the background main color is white. I normally have it on this side just because it kind of goes with my outfits a little bit more. But if you do want more of like a brighter look, I would say go for this side. Why does it sound different? The strap is adjustable. It does have um, the buckle on it. So if you wanna, I guess, make it longer or make it shorter, you can definitely do that. And then it's also detachable from the purse. So it does detach. You can definitely, you can definitely just carry it like this if you would like, or if you want to add the strap on it, you definitely can. I prefer the strap just because I like to have my purses on my shoulder. I never like to really just carry it like this. I feel like it's just gonna hurt my arm as the day goes on. Okay, so now that we have already discussed the outside and what it has, we are going to discuss what's on the inside. First thing that I have in my bag is my everyday lanyard keychain holder wallet type of thing. I basically have this off-white strap, wrist strap I guess you could say. It is not real, it is from Amazon. I bought it I would say a year and a half ago or I think, I think it was a year and a half ago. So this is from Amazon. It is literally just a fake off-white strip. And then I do have my Allstate roadside insurance card. Next, it's just the red thing, the, the red zip tie that comes with it. And I do have my AirPods. These are the first generation, I believe. I love having AirPods with me on here because when I go to work, sometimes I do get to pack. And I just love having my AirPods that I can listen to my music in and just jam out. I do have my car key. I feel like that's like kind of self-explanatory important. And then I have my pepper spray. Luckily, I have never, ever, ever used this before and I hope to never, ever use it. But for safety reasons, you never know, especially in this type of world, everything's just insane. And then I recently switched out my hand sanitizer to this new one. This is from Bath and Body Works and it is called Fresh Sparkling Snow. I went to buy like a travel size lotion because I don't have one for my purse. So I did want to buy that and I bought some extra hand sanitizers besides this one so that I can just be prepared to just swap them out whenever they're done. This one smells really good. It just smells like winter and fresh and mint. That's what it smells like. I do have my wallet with me on here. This is just a Michael Kors 
small wallet pouch i got it out the outlets because it was on sale you know the outlets always have like good deals going on i saw this and i was like i have to get it because i have been dying to find a wallet just like this and easy to carry around and not causing too much junk so in here i just have my cards and my cash and then on the other side i have my license my target discount card and my target red card that's pretty much it for this part this is what i pretty much carry whenever i go to work or if i'm just going out for a quick errand i will just grab this and this is pretty much everything that i need that's just basically on the go i always like to carry a snack in here these specifically someone else bought them for me so i just have sour punches in here at the moment i usually like to carry a granola bar or like a protein bar or something small so that way if i ever am hungry on the road and i just can't get food i will just eat my snack until i get home another thing carrying a snack is also good because you never know if there's going to be an accident in the road that's going to cause like all lanes to be blocked off you can't go anywhere can't make you turn nothing and you're freaking starving you just pull out your snack and you're pretty much good for the time being along with my snacks i also like to carry a drink whether it be just a water bottle or my jug i usually carry either Either or but lately I have been just carrying a water bottle to make it easier because it literally fits perfectly in this purse next on the list I have this coin pouch now this coin pouch did come with the purse it was like a matching duo type of thing so same thing it is a black leather pouch and it has the logo on it as well, Steve Madden. This is the zipper that it has for it. So it just says Steve Madden on it. And then this is just black. There also is a clip on this in case you do kind of want to do like this action or like on the side or if you just want to put it onto like here i don't know you can definitely do that i basically just carry some coins in here because i do want to get rid of these i feel like it would be easier if i just put them like in my bank account but you never know if you're going to need quarters anywhere next i like to carry a portable charger now i did buy this on one of my vlogs this is just the energizer portable charger i got it from best buy and honestly it works pretty well i don't feel like it runs at a battery too quick so it's really cool because there are two ports that you can do it so you got two usbs and then this is a a different kind and then on the side it is a type c charger so you can charge it with that and then this one is a digital one so it tells you how much battery percentage it has but basically it would just show you how much percentage it has right here it'd be like 100 or like 99 or something that was me the other day i forgot where i was i was at work i yeah i woke up late but i still made it to work on time and my phone was was on 30 something and I didn't have my portable on me to like charge it while I was working literally my phone the entire day until I got on my lunch was at 8% and I was like bro I never like having my phone dead because you know if you're gonna have to call someone in here I basically just have this big coach bag this is what I would call my little emergency kit it is just a coach bag that someone gave to my mom so it's really cute it's really the size of a pencil pouch but in here i just call it my emergency bag as you guys can see i just have a whole bunch of goodies in here first thing that i have is a pad and a liner because it happened to me the other day where i was out and i didn't know that i had gotten my period and i didn't know this till i got home but always carry a pad and a liner i also like to carry deodorant in here this is the gillette one i feel like this one does not make me musty i know that there's certain deodorants out there that like are proven to work but like i've pretty much i've used dove i've used secret i've even used like men's deodorant and they just do not work for me my mom had bought this i think it was like on sale or something but she bought a whole bunch of them this one just does not make me smelly at all so i do carry some body spray this is from bath and body Works. this is in the scent at the beach so it's really just a nice summery scent which i feel like i should swap it out for something fall I like to carry a band-aid around for obvious reasons you never know if you're gonna get a fucking cut or something or 
who knows you're you're gonna be at the park and just scraping your damn knee i either like to carry lip gloss or carmax on me nine times out of ten i'm gonna use carmax but if i want my lips to be a little bit plumped i am gonna use lip gloss this is the l'oreal infallible pro gloss plump it is just a lip plumper which i do recommend it is in the shade 606 mauve glow so this it is really nice like look at the applicator y'all it is just i highly recommend this like this does plump your lips without over plumping them this is just something that i would wear in case i'm going out for like a date night or going out like to the city something that's like not like nearby if that makes sense and then another beauty item is my lash spoolie so this is just a lash boy that I get from my lash tech. I always keep one in the car, one in my room, one in my bathroom, one in my purse. I always like to make sure that my eyelashes are like looking nice. I'll literally just like sit in the car and just brush them out just to make sure before I get out the car, they're not like going all over the place. So I have a hair tie. I either carry a hair tie or a claw clip. A hair tie is like my last option if I like want to put my hair up. I usually put it in the claw clip just so it's not damaging my hair. I always keep a hair tie in case anybody needs it but it's pretty much my last option if I want to put my hair up. Now I know I told y'all how I went to get the hand sanitizer out. So this is the lotion that I got but it's technically a body cream. This is the Luminous Ultimate Hydration Body Cream with Shea Butter and Hyaluronic Acid. This is what it looks like. Honestly, the smell really gives rich woman vibes. It's something soft. It's something not too strong. I feel like it low-key gives fall especially with the packaging or like Christmas come on now now I'm gonna show you guys the inside of it in case you guys are interested but in the inside there is can you guys see there is two pockets right here on this end and then on the other side it's just kind of like one big like pouch can y'all like see it's just like one big pouch it's pretty good and spacious in here you guys can see that there's like the coach thing on there. I used to carry all of my things unorganized and just kind of like throw shit in there. But I have learned that I just don't want to have my things all over in my purse and just like me not be able to find something. I have learned to keep my things more organized in my purse, which is why I got this to put in there. Now I'm going to show you guys inside the actual purse. So inside the purse, it's kind of the same scenario as the coach bag. Bag. there are two pockets so on the front of the bag where this where the logo is at there are two pockets right here so you can kind of see them um, I used to carry my last spoolie and my hair tight in here but now that I have the bag I just put everything in there and then on the other side there is a zipper portion so you just open this and it's just another pouch in there i don't carry anything in there actually at the moment so maybe i'll fill it up with something eventually but as of now i really just don't have anything in there and then of course if i am filming that day i will carry like my gopro extra batteries but if i'm not filming um this is pretty much what i would just carry on a day-to-day -day basis Putting everything back, this is what my purse would look like when you would open it. Just really all of this shit actually fits in here and it doesn't fit to where it's like too big or like too skinny and too loose. It really just fits it perfectly and I'm honestly glad that I got this bag because this wasn't even the bag that I was going to get. I was supposed to get a different bag, same style, just smaller but then I came to realize if I do want to have this as like an everyday bag I do need something bigger so I'm honestly glad that I went with this option I just I love my bag and I really want to carry it with me everywhere I go but like I said I usually just carry the lanyard if I'm going to work or just running a quick errand but this is just something more that's kind of like going out that's pretty much it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it also by the time that this video goes up I will have hit 
a hundred subscribers i know it's not like a big milestone but to me it really is i just want to give y'all my thanks because i actually still cannot believe it that i have hit my milestone before the year ended and it's crazy to think because in the beginning of the year i had told myself oh i will get a hundred before the year ends and the fact that I hit that before the year ended is freaking crazy. We are growing and we're going to reach the next milestone. Like it still doesn't process me in my head because if you guys know me, like know know me, y'all know that back in high school I did start a YouTube channel but I never was consistent with it. I wasn't sure if this was something that I wanted to do just to like film videos. But now that I'm like older, and I'm like, oh yeah, I want to do YouTube. Like, I want to film, I want to post. And the fact that I have uploaded almost every single week, which I have consistently as of recently, but when I first started, I would upload consistently every single week, but I never had a set day. And now I do have a schedule. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I do upload every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So if you guys are new here or not, the schedule that I have been posting for the past month or month and a half is every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern time. But yeah, I just wanted to give my little speech about it, but I'm very excited for more to come and for me to post more videos. So hopefully you guys are too. But like always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.